welcome back to another vlog. This seems nuts. Thanks to Squarespace for working with me on another video and yes, Welcome you guys to the new studio. If you have not seen the new podcast, we have just gone live with our first episode with Husnain Asif. A few of you guys may know him from TikTok. The yellow school bus is real. Life isn't a lie. I vanished for the last month and for that I, I apologize. I just want to show you guys what I'm up to day to day to day. And today is Thursday and it's my networking day. I'm trying to link my inner liners with the socks and sandals, but this is my house and that dish up there, that one up there. I put that up there about a week ago to try and get a new client some internet. Turns out it doesn't reach, it doesn't work. Annoying. So now that dish has got to come down. Guys, don't try this at home. My grandma's watching this which I know she is because she's my biggest fan. She's going to be absolutely shitting herself. You get it. So this should just come out of here. <laughs> now we slowly, slowly turn around <laughs> and then straddle back across. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you take a dish off a roof. Grandma, please keep me in your will. Okay, so if it wasn't already obvious, yes, I still sell internet. Hang on. I still sell internet as a side hustle. However, at the moment, it's turning into much more of a main hustle because of the amount of clients that have been texting me saying, Alex, your internet's rubbish. And I know exactly why it's rubbish. Okay, so here we are on top of one of my sites. As you can see, I've got my ladders over here. And here's a couple of my dishes. Now this is an AF24 and it was linking over to my dad's house. This is failing because of all of these trees. So I'm having to replace it with a brand new dish and I'm just hoping that they connect. No, not connected yet. I really, really hope these things can connect because otherwise I'm screwed and I will have lots of angry clients. 2,000 years. Yes, they connected. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, that's made me so much happier. I've had to position the dish over there, but honestly so stressful knowing that you've got people relying on you for internet, man. Nothing good is easy. I am sweating from head to toe. Look at my hands and I cut myself. All for internet. Hope everybody appreciates it. They probably don't. They just want it to work, don't they? Okay, so here we are. This is the other side of the link, actually on my dad's house. Now I put this up here yesterday and took the old big radio off the roof. So I was up here and I dropped it down with a rope all the way down there. I think you can see it, that white thing there. Now, this may look really funky to you. However, what we need to do is try and get the gray dots as small as possible. See you later. So if I undo these. And there we go, I think that's about as good as I'll be able to get it, so I'll lock it down. And here we have our new point-to-point -point link, which is literally serving about 15 people with internet. I need to get off the roof before I die. Don't try this at home. I'm alive, and so is the dish. Just like that, my networking job's done for the day. Now, obviously I haven't earned any money whilst I've been up there, but what I have to remember is that I get paid per internet client every month. Technically I'm getting paid, which makes it seem worthwhile because my hands are so dirty. Here's Mitch. Today we've got Danny Cooley. Who are you and what do you do? So I'm Danny and I'm a bit of everything, you know.
Now this thing is really cool. To you, this may just look like a black piece of metal, but to me this means quite a lot. It's upside down. This is my card to unlimited haircuts from my friend Jack Remba. We have struck a deal where every so often I'll go and get my hair cut and make them a really cool little video that they can chuck on their social media, take them some pictures, I get a free haircut. Pretty cool deal if you ask me. What isn't cool though is this room here. This is the storage room, or what I want to call my gear closet, as a lot of people seem to make on YouTube that have a place to put all of their camera gear. Thinking about you, Peter McKinnon. What's up, everybody? Now, as you guys know, this is the studio, which at one point was absolutely abysmal. We have done, I want to say, an amazing job at turning this from what was an abysmal room into something really cool. Granted, no skirting boards on yet. Still a little bit of painting to touch up, but we are getting there. But the studio is being used as intended. We recorded a podcast here last night with a guy called Danny Cooley, who's worked with people like KSI and Nathan Daw on music lyrical videos. Does that make sense, where the lyrics fly on the screen type thing? As you can see, this place used to be a dance studio, and this is where people got ready. Yeah, it looks really, really bad, doesn't it? This needs to go, all of this needs to go, all of this needs to go, that needs to go, it basically all needs to go. And this is gonna be an insane little gear room. over about a thousand pounds on all of these neon signs and these were for the beta squad that says ndl that's the beta squad logo and that's nico's glasses <laughs> A few moments later. A pound! That's unreal! A mouldy pound! I haven't seen a pound like that in so long. That's so cool. Jed, flash on screen when these went out of date. Can you even use these anymore? Oh, and also, I stood on a nail and it's bleeding on my. F Ow! Ah! Oh, it's all one. Oh my god, it's all one unit. Holy shit. Oh, literally, I can't walk. What am I gonna do? Laugh. Laughing is the best therapy. I could be really annoyed, but I need to laugh. Ah, <laughs> So, the next day has rolled around and I've woken up this morning, I can barely walk because I stood on that screw. It went so far into my foot that I'm having to hobble everywhere. However, my plaster has dried, so this now needs a sand down. I've got two buckets of paint here, one for the ceiling, one for all the walls. I mean, this thing needs to... Oh my. Probably see, I'm really good at painting. I'm not really. 
But if I was, I'd probably do it as a business. And if I was gonna do it as a business, I'd need a website and I'd definitely do it on Squarespace. I do it there because just like this painting, it's super, super easy. You choose from one of the thousands of templates that they've got, and then you upload your own text, images, photos, basically make it look like you made the website, which is cool. The websites look modern because they have all these cool animations. They've also got things like SEO, which is where you can see how your website is gonna appear on search engines like Google. And if you've actually got like a physical product, you can sell physical products on your Squarespace website. And best bit, they don't break the bank. You can save 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain by simply using code MarsBar, or just go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBar vlogs. So massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. And with that, we're pretty much painted. Now I am pretty proud of this. It is, yeah, it's safe to say that a lick of paint can go a long way because this place is just completely different now. You wouldn't even flash up a picture from before. You would not even think this was the same room. It looks so, so cool in here. Now there is tiny little bits of paint where, in fact, I'll show you. Well, it's not looking too good. I've still obviously got to paint the skirting boards as well, but we have made a lot of progress. Now I'm starting to think about lighting. These are called the Nano Leaf Lines and they sort of go on the wall like that. They look pretty cool, don't they? I've also got one of these, a LifeX Beam, which basically looks like that, but I'm thinking scrap both of these. I've just bought one of these instead and that is gonna live up there. So the entirety of this roof will just be one big hexagon that shines down, which is going to be awesome. However, I don't want to stop there. I've got a little project I want to do this evening. Yes, the glasses hang over the edge slightly, but oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so impressed. That is so cool. So my plan with this neon creation is to sort of stick it over there like that. So it's going to sit up here. Oh, it'll look awesome. And then the reason I put it on this piece of wood and painted it black is so that it hides all the wires behind it. And that is so cool. However guys, I'm going to do this another day because it is now 8.30 at night and all I've eaten all day is an apple. I have literally not left this square box. So as much as I am really happy with what I've managed to do today, can't wait to get out of here. So with that being said guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, a little bit more of a natural video really. Everybody said they wanted them so I thought I'd just bring the Mars Bar Weeklies back. And uh, yeah. If you did, let me know on social media or in the comments or just drop a like rating and I can see that. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.